Before this week's Valero Texas Open, Rory McIlroy ranked 134th on the PGA Tour in bogey avoidance, dropping a shot on 16% of the holes he had played. Big misses have plagued him, especially during the Florida swing, when he struggled to garner any momentum. Yet, this week, McElroy has made only one bogey at TPC San Antonio, sitting near the top of the leaderboard through 36 holes at the Valero Texas Open. He sits solo fifth at 5-under for the championship and trails leader Akshay Basha by six shots. My goal this week is just trying to get a lot of those misses. Out of the system and playing a bit smarter, hitting the shots that I know that I can hit. At the same time, I'm a little more confident in my golf swing than I was a few weeks ago. So that makes it easier, Ackleroy said after his 2 under 70 on Friday. Still work to do, but heading in the right direction. Earlier this week, McElroy revealed he visited renowned swing coach Butch Harmon in Las Vegas. He wanted a second opinion on his swing, which Harmon happily provided. The session with Harmon must have helped somewhat, as McElroy has avoided missing left with his iron schist Achilles heel as of late. Still, McElroy wants to see further improvement in his approaches. It'd like to see a few of those iron shots and wedges go a little bit closer, McElroy said. The miss has gone from left the last few weeks to a little bit to the right, which I'm okay with. It means that what I'm working on is heading in the right direction. So just tightening that up a little bit. McElroy missed a few iron shots, but they did not lead to boogies or worse like they did in Florida. Yet, the Northern Irishman put himself in position to succeed. Plenty. With no better example coming on the third and seventh holes both par three seconds. He missed 10 footers for birdie on both, instead settling for pars. Those missed putts did not bother McElroy too much, however, because the Texas winds created tricky conditions at TPC San Antonio. He knew he played well Friday, even though he shot one score lower on Thursday. But pars are good score especially at Augusta National and in major championships. Those, of course, require patience and not playing too aggressively. I think it's accepting that you're going to make a lot of pars. It may feel frustrating at times, but knowing that you're not losing ground. By doing it and accepting that fact, that's a big key to it, McElroy said. The US Open last year is probably the best example of me doing that. I was very patient. Sti T. Andrews a little bit, even though the scoring was low. It's the same sort of thing. You pick and choose where you're aggressive, and then you're conservative a lot of the time. When you add it up at the end of the week, you're always going to be pretty close. 